baby. Sweet talker, yeah. <laughs> I've been good, just busy working, and I'm here at Exotica to meet all my fans and see you again. Thank you very much. How have you been doing? I'm doing great now, now that I'm with you. Who's the sweet talker? You are. Not me. <laughs> lies. You tell me lies. I would never ever lie to you. No, never. Never. Not never. Not, never. I will always be honest with you. Like, honesty is the best way to go. Amen. Amen to that. Uh, so I'm here with the lovely Alana Love. Uh, she's an actress. She's also a ballerina. Uh huh. In her spare time. <laughs> but she's also um, a dancer. That's right. I dance at Lace in Wayne, New Jersey. So everybody come check me out. Did you hear that, guys? Please tell them again. At Lace in Wayne, New Jersey. So everyone should come check me out. Uh, what day should they stop by to um, see you perform? I'm usually there Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wow. That's dedication right there. It is dedication. So come spend your money on me. <laughs> and also, you're an actress. So uh, what, what movies have you been working on? Um, anything serious? Um, well, I just shot for Bang Bros Girls Gone Wild. Wow. So, you know, you have to wait and see for that one to come out. When does it come out? I have no idea. I'm waiting on it, too. So. Damn. <laughs> but you'll be the first to know, I promise. All right, guys. You heard that one. She said I'll be the first to know. Exactly. So I'm definitely expecting an email from her. You, you'll be getting an email. All right. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> um, oh, are these some of your movies right here? Yes, they are. Yep, that's me. Uh, do you play a personal trainer or a gym member? No, I play, I'm doing yoga, and my husband caught me. Oh. Ooh. He caught you doing something you weren't supposed to do? Um, no, just because I looked hot and sexy. That you are, baby. Aww. That you are. interested in uh, working in voiceover like for cartoons i would you, love to you definitely have a voice for it thank you i would love to and we, we're going to talk about that after this interview is over yes that's absolutely definitely uh, the reason why i ask because the voice is great for it and i'm also i love voiceovers uh cartoon stuff i'm a big fan of frank welker peter cullen um i also i'm a, I'm a fan of larry kenny uh shout out to larry watching this <laughs> but don't watch it with your wife <laughs> um i also do voice over, i do impression impersonations uh, i can impersonate frank welker he's wow. the voice of uh freddie from scooby-doo uh-huh he's also the voice of megatron from transformers and he's the voice of uh satan from the golden child and spawn nice yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and honestly i hope one day to see you working in now only the Big cartoons, but also the small cartoons. Absolutely, I would love to. And you're gonna make it happen, right? Of course. You heard it from her, heard from, from her. She's gonna make it happen. Uh, Alana, I'd like to thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for spending time with me and my of audience. Of course. And when the next Exotic comes around, we're gonna see her again, we're gonna spend some more time for her. Yes, I would love that. She's gonna be really amazing. Thank you guys and have a good night. Bye -bye. Thank you, bye. Yes, and I'm still talking to fine ass women, especially the one holding right in front of me now. Um, Lucy, thank you so much for making an appearance on our here in front of me. Nice to meet you. Nice Welcome. to meet you too, thank you. Um, there's some things I want to discuss with you, like we got a whole Mad Max vibe going on. Yeah, kind of Mad Max. It's my little cat woman. I don't know if you can see the Batman under there. So, here's the question I gotta ask like, why are your nipples covered up? Why? Well, you know, I know it is a little bit of a porn convention, but you, you know, you still have the view of the public eye when you're, there's pictures and cameras and you know, people that are around um, that could possibly take something and put it on the internet. So that's something you, 
obviously children could get exposed to. So you kind of want to have that filter either way, you I know? I thought it was because the mentor said, said you have to go with nipples. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, even though, that, but that's why, because, you know, you get your pictures out there, your video, anybody can see it. So you just got to be careful. I mean, obviously. It's funny the guys can walk around topless, but the women can't. Isn't that, that is, that sucks. They can even walk around in Speedos and we can't. Like, we barely can walk around. It's amazing. You guys can go without shirts. Uh, you guys got these Speedos with all your junk hanging out. But we can't show you that our clit's, like, enormous. We got to cover it up. And all you can see is our ass and double standards. Right? Well, I think that's what this industry is trying to change, though, is uh, showing how much the women empowerment side and how much, you know, not just in bed, but how much power we really have. You know, we fulfill a lot of your fantasies, right? <laughs> how many videos or, or production companies are producing where the male is the, the, what is it, the forefront of making a woman's fantasy? How much over female? Right. It's just that a lot of people don't know about it. Yeah. I think if it was pushed more, right. Well, here's the thing. One more. One more person. You say like this, like, everyone's in competition. Everyone's a rival. So, like, why would you push another woman's production company over your own? Well, yeah, no. I mean, every, it, actually, everybody should be helping each other. That's the thing. Everybody should be promoting and networking and helping each other. Um, it's the only way that, you know, sharing is caring, right? So spread as much as you can. It's just, it's viral. It's like anything. It's like a disease. If you can spread something good, why not? The problem is there's so much ego. And uh, that's what is spreading more because we have social media to do it, unfortunately. But um, we should start using social media as a benefit to start spreading more positive things. It is, but uh, like I said, I mean, it's not its not to say, oh, what an unfair world, but I, like for me, I try to push, um, like Lola and I, we are very sex positive, um, sex education, especially in the younger community, um, sex education on every level from the younger, the younger adults to the adults, but right to the adults. So if you can promote that in a positive way, we can continue to do that with all, instead of being competitive against it, I think we can go further. Yeah, more people need to have sex as much as possible. Oh. <laughs> it makes the world a happy place. Safe sex. Safe sex. Safe sex. But having sex is important because it eases tension, it promotes unity, it promotes love, it promotes understanding. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The physical thing is the reason why we are physical beings. We need that communication in the physical touch, in the physical, you know, connection. Right, right, right. There's, there's a reason why there's both. There's the emotional and the physical. And we need to have both of them in equal, right? Exactly. So that means have more sex with your women, guys. <laughs> That's how, ha look, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and that means in bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it is in size, you know what I mean? Actually, I think we take, uh, it's funny, we take quantity over quality, is it? When no, it comes it's, to bed, it's, it's isn't I? I mean, it is quality, but what I'm saying for women, people, guys tend to stereotype that we're all about the size and all. No, it's more about like we just give it to us when we need it. You know what I mean? Same goes for us too. Oh yeah. So if we need it every day, we must be giving every day. Absolutely. I think that we all need it every day. It's just that we don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. We need to express that. If you need it, women say it. If man, if you want a blowjob when you get home, honey, it's been a long day. I'm going to need some relief. Dude, I think that would be better for every relationship if we could just honestly say that. Right? Well, amen to that, sister. <laughs> um, also, um, are, you, are you also working in film, too? Um, I have been doing a lot of uh, fetish, but I'm transitioning into girl-girl mainstream. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's an amazing act. So you can see it's kind of both realms. You know, you've got the fetish, but then with the forced orgasms, you're getting the girl girl play. So, as you can see, I am uh, into a lot of foot fetish stuff. 
which is amazing how arousal, arousing that is, right? Look at that. Isn't that? <laughs> You do, yeah, you'd have, you have to tie me down. Otherwise, legs are going everywhere. You're probably going to get kicked in the face. <laughs> yep, doesn't matter what you do. Um, actually, as far as that, it hasn't been that bad because... It isn't like me transitioning from fetish as a dom sub to transitioning as a full-on porn girl, boy girl stuff, um, because then at least I would be giving myself being a dominatrix, submitting. I think that's what when you get into porn, doing girl boy stuff, you're submitting. You're you're allowing yourself to be with that opposite sex or. I guess so. That's where the differentiates. Yeah, I think that is where the difference the between lifestyle and doing it as a profession. So maybe that's more of the transition for me. It's trying to differentiate the self, the difference between the business and the pleasure of it, where it should always be pleasurable either way. Whatever you do in life, like career, like you have to be doing it because you really want to be doing it because you enjoy it. Otherwise, it's not worth it. You know. Um, no, not yet. I am actually newer. Like I said, I'm transitioning, so new into the industry. I do a lot of work in Florida, where I'm from right now. Um, I moved there from the West Coast. I'm kind of all over. I'm a military bat. Yeah, so, Cali girl, so I am. I'm a Cali girl. So from Cali to Vegas to here. Uh, I mean, not here. I'm sorry. We're in New Jersey to Florida. I'm visiting here in New Jersey for the first time. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. This is a, an amazing convention. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Oh. Me too. Um, well, we can. We are very excited also too. We may be producing a Garner porno in the future. If oh, really? We should. Okay. We should make that happen. We should. We can be like the first Filipina porn star superhero. Oh my God! I've been thinking about that. A lot of like, well, you know, cosplay. Obviously, we do it in fetish, but I don't see too much in porn that's in arousing enough. In other words, there isn't <laughs> a lot of variety out there. So I understand right. the need for her to want to make this happen. She's not going to want anyone else to make it happen. She's going to do it herself. Yeah. I definitely want to do that. And it doesn't have to be like specific characters that mainstream people know, like Catwoman and, and uh, Batgirl or anything like that. I want to develop new characters. I want someone to make, like, you know what? I know Lucy Liu as this character. And that's it. And then it, yeah, you know, like your Dharma? I want to be Dharma. I want to be the new. Darna. Darna. Darna? Is it Darna? Darna. I want to be Darna. I'm the next Darna, guys. I'm the Filipino Americanized Darna. <laughs> okay, okay. So we'll just have to create a new character. All right. Um, do you have any, anything to say to our viewers? Uh, how to contact you on social media? If they want to book you? If they want uh, to yeah. you, communicate, or send you uh, some by via Pony Express or Messenger Bird? <laughs> Um, I am on OnlyFans, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, all of that. Team Lucy Lou. Uh, it's spelled L-O-O-S-E-Y-L-U. No, I'm not the actress Lucy Lou. <laughs> I wish I was. At least I wish I had her bank account. Um, but that actually, that's a funny story. The reason why I chose that alias is because... I used to do a lot of mainstream MTV type stuff, and when I'd get on set, they'd be like, oh my god, it's Lucy Lou. But that's when I had my 20 inches of black hair and I looked like a typical Asian. And now people can't figure out what the fuck I am. And that's an amazing thing. I love it. <laughs> I'm me, damn it. That's what I'm at. Lucy Liu. Well, Team Lucy Liu. What if the actress Lucy Liu actually challenged you to a fight? Would you accept our challenge? Um, you know what's on my bucket list? And honestly, <laughs> do you believe that you'll be able to beat her ass too? Yes. Lucy, a? You're getting your ass kicked. <laughs> no, no, no. Not because of that. But listen. I actually, that's on my bucket list, is to fight a celebrity. So, we should definitely fight her. 
I don't know if I want to buy her though. She's so beautiful, babe. I love you. No, like no, honestly, okay. <laughs> I do want to. Who would I celebrity wise? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Like who's gonna take the real Lucy Liu name? Like not in court. <laughs> no, forget court. Want, Let's do this on the streets. Right. Let's do this on the streets of Jersey. No, fuck that. Get in the ring. You know, you fight the proper way. Whoever wins, wins. Whoever loses. Gloves or no gloves? Your choice. Well, I, I, I am a, f a fantasy boxer, so I mean gloves. Gloves you know, right. Gloves. But gloves only, girl. <laughs> gloves only. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, you heard, heard our social media accounts. There's no problem challenging Lucy Lou to access to a fight. And she's going to win the fight. She's not going to let Lucy Lou beat her ass. <laughs> Shout out Lucy Lou. That's great. Um, also, I want to say thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you for having me. I'm cracking jokes. Finally. I try. <laughs> she tried. She tried. I try. Anyway, um, this is Omari and Lucy Lou. for signing off. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Welcome to the Art Heroes Project. How you guys doing? Um, he's still Exotica. I'm, I'm, I'm finally catching up. Meantime, I think I'm making him nervous. No, you're not making him <laughs> nervous. I think I am. It's the damn bright lights. Is um, the bright lights, or could it be my flogger, one or the other? The bright lights. And my floggers. <laughs> I'm known for my floggers, guys. Yes, she is. Um, I'm here today at Exotica with the amazing, lovely Lola Bassanato. Thank, thank you. So you. Much for coming on my TV show. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Amen to that. It's always a pleasure spending time with you. That sounds kinky, but thank you. <laughs> I'm here to say. Well, it is always a pleasure to spend time with her because thank she's you. all about Sonata. She's a great woman. Um, I, know, I learned a little bit about you. You know, you used to work for Playboy and Penthouse. Mm -hmm. um, also, you're a wonderful sex expert. I am. Thank you very much. She's at the top of the food chain on that one. See, that kind of sounds kinky, too. Top of the food chain. Like, if you have, like, a food fetish, that might be hot. <laughs> right? Okay. I think you're blushing, dude. <laughs> I think he's blushing. <laughs> Do you have any fetishes? Oh, you're the second woman that asked me that. You know, if yeah? Not, I, I he do, he I, does. I do appreciate women from head to toe. So you're a foot guy. No, I'm a guy that only wants to date real women. With me. feet. <laughs> Real body parts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what you been up to these days? What's going on? Anything and everything. Well, um, I'm still working on comedy sex show in Brooklyn, and that's a lot of fun with um, Tara, Tiara, and Tim Moss. Um, let's see. I'm still doing this stuff for Playboy. I'm all over the place. I'm actually um, going to be here in New York for my birthday, which is going to be December 22nd is the actual party. So that's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys want to find out about it, go to MissLolasHouse.com. It's my website. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, is it special invite only or special requirements as well? Well, yeah. You know, we do have like a door policy of couples only. So yeah. couples and single females. You know, see, here's the thing. Like, if you create an environment where women are completely comfortable, anything is possible. But as soon as your girl feels like uncomfortable or they're just like really tight, it's the end of your night. You see what I mean? So that's the key to any party is to make sure that the girls are comfortable. And most importantly, um, use words that are conducive, that promote good vibes. Um, let them know that you're happy to be there with them. Everyone's gonna have a great time. Is this a PSA? <laughs> it's like it's like a dirty, filthy fucking PSA. No, All right, go ahead. That. It's just that um, anytime that when I'm around other people, I always make sure to say things that are um, productive or conducive to one's being. Yeah, I don't, absolutely. I don't, I don't with at home, but I try to make that time, my time with them, um, good, great, and. Having a bad day, you know, I talk to them about it. Get right. the negativity out and bring in the good, good vibes. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Because who wants to be around an asshole, right? Yeah. It, simply put, nobody wants to be around a jerk, you know? Exactly. Life would be so much easier if people were just kind to one another, right? Yes. Absolutely. But it's an everyday thing. I do this on a daily basis, whether I'm at home or at work or with friends. It's an everyday thing. I don't do it once so a week. So what did you do today? Uh, 
Well, today I came here, I did some interviews. Um, you're probably the fifth person I interviewed for today. Sloppy fifth, really? Listen. Ew. I didn't, I didn't get here early <laughs> enough because, you know, I had to get breakfast first. Gotta That's eat. okay. I got to replenish my strength. Well, I'm, lucky you, you're my first interview today because I just got here. <laughs> And I didn't want to be running on fumes when I interviewed. I right. want to get full strength for you at least. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. Know you. Know if I was going to run on 10%, oh, hell no. This is going to happen. I have floggers. <laughs> I didn't feel she wants to give me a flogger now. Have you been flogged before? Yes. You have? And yeah. did you like it? I mean, it didn't really bother me. I mean, I was at a TV station and... You were at a TV station, so it was broadcast yeah, for um, the world to see. Yeah. Okay. It was about uh, two dominators that were giving me a flogging. Really? Yeah. A flogging, he says. Yeah, a <laughs> nice. Okay. So was it was it sensual or was it more like painful? It was very painful. It was painful, really. So you took it? Yeah. Hard? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you a pain slut? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Are you a pain sled? No, I'm not a pain sled. All right, so, but you liked it hard. Well, no, it's just that... Um, he liked it hard. Karate, I mean, you're lear you learn to deal with difficult. So, because of the karate training, I can endure the pain. Really? Okay. That's like some ninja shit, right? Like... <laughs> and the next thing you know, like, commercial Vicky's going to be, like, walking on coals or something. Fantastic. About the karate training, I, I wouldn't be able to endure the pain. Even you know, I actually really admire people who do martial arts. It takes a lot of dedication, and it's really a lifestyle. Like, from what I've learned from my friends who are martial artists, it's really a lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so you got a birthday party coming up. I anything, do. Anything else special going on? There's always stuff special going on. But for to find out about it, if you go to my website, lolabastnado.com or MissLolasHouse.com, you can find absolutely anything and everything I do. And I'm on social media everywhere. Guess what my name is? Lola Bastinado. <laughs> so you guys can find me absolutely anywhere. Just Google me. She's not that hard to find. And Maybe it's the pink hair. I don't know. No, 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 no it's not the hair. <laughs> Maybe it's... The corset. No, maybe it's the floggers. I don't know. Hopefully no one's out there impersonating you. So I know it's very easy to find you online. Yes. I don't think anybody would want to impersonate me. <laughs> yeah, well, your shoes are very hard. Big to fill. Too big to fill. Oh, so okay. You can walk in your shoes like you do. Oh, well, sometimes shoes are made for walking. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's thank always so much fun, and congratulations on your new show. Uh, thank you. And um, to the viewers out there, look out for Lola Bassanano. Pay attention to her. She always has amazing events going on. Um, don't forget to check out her website, Lola, Miss Lola's House, lolabassanano.com. She's on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm everywhere. Video, right? Yeah, I'm probably there, too. <laughs> Stick with the popular ones. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Miss Boston, Miss Lola Boston's house. Anyway, we're getting <laughs> the fuck out of here. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, -bye. All right, welcome to the Our Hands Project. Today, on the final day, the most amazing day, I'm here with Bridget B. Hola. Uh, she's just a super very friendly and amazing person. Oh, uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Likewise, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Anytime I can um, have a chance to speak amidst all the chaos, I'm happy to do so. You're going to have to come in a little closer because I can hear you right here. It's there we go. It's such a pleasure to um, spend time with you. I just want him to say more of that. It's such a pleasure to spend time with you. Um, okay. When did you decide you wanted to become an actress? Um, this all happened very organically. And the, the tale of all of this is that I got fired from using my vibrator at work and uh, somehow ended up at the Vivid Building in LA and went in on a Wednesday to shot my first movie on Saturday. Oh, sweet. So what was your first scene about? My first scene is true to what the DVD was called, Brand New Faces wow. from Vivid. 
and it was with a fellow Spaniard performer. Um, his name is uh, Marco Banderas. Wow. And it was the most beautiful, best experience ever. I'm sure it was, it was electrifying. It was so natural, oh. and it was, it's one of those things that as long as that first scene was perfect, I continued. Had that scene lacked uh, respect, had that scene lacked anything, I would have not continued. Yeah, pa anything of that. We love as much as we hate. <laughs> but I'm a lover, so I'm always loving. Yes, you are. So are you working on anything right now? Or are you taking a little break from acting? I am not taking a break. When you love what you do, there's no need to break. You kind of just do different things. Um, but right now I'm working on a personal showcase with Evil Angel. And then um, I start my own production company in the middle of next year. Okay. And um, it's going to now take me directing. Hey, that sounds very cool. Um, are you going to be directing uh, uh, major films or independent films or porn? I am going to do what the world is in need of, a mix of both. Right. So the world needs to accept that sex is not a bad thing. And that um, sex is a natural beauty that we all share, we, and we wouldn't be here without it. Yeah, Along with being entertaining. Right. And this world could use a little bit of that. No, but I have worked with Japanese companies, and they're fabulous. And actually, my DVD, I uh, impersonated Lady Gaga. <laughs> and it was the number one selling DVD in Japan, they said, for over 30 something weeks. Really? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And that was a few years ago. Wow. But I love anime, I love Japanese hentai. Oh, yeah. Um, one of my mentors is a hentai artist. Oh, can he draw me? Uh, we'll have to contact him on contact him through social media. Okay. Uh, just okay, okay. Anime Con coming up next week. It's Anime, anime NYC at the Jacob Javits Center. Oh, wow. Uh, November 16th to the 18th. So that's going to be a good one. Yes, it's going to be amazing. See, if I had my own character, I would have gone. I'm sure you'll create your own character. Let, well, let's, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> oh, it gets juicier. I would say one of my hidden talents is uh, cooking. Wow. I can cook a really mean everything. And the very lucky few get to experience it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, a, a woman needs to be able to do it all, hon. Right. And I eat well even alone. So. No, I don't own a microwave. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. You're welcome. And I hope to see you again at the next Zodica convention. Absolutely. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to another wonderful episode of the Art Heroes Project. Today, here at Exotica, I'm meeting the amazing, the legendary, the titanic, Ava Divine. Ava Divine, welcome to the Art Heroes Project. How are you doing today? Great. I'm doing fucking fabulous. Thank you. You're welcome, Amari. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming on my show. Thanks I had such a pleasure to meet you. Me. You made a lot of boys happy and horny when they were growing up. Like a guy, I'm sorry, made a lot of guys happy and horny. Yes, thank you. So what brings you to Exotica here today? Your cock. <laughs> no. We'll play with it later. Well, I'm just here signing with LA Direct Models. I just wanted to meet and greet with all my fans that I love so much and just have some fun. Fun. That's the operative word. <laughs> oh, man. It's such a pleasure to meet you. It's such a pleasure to meet you, too. <laughs> Somebody's uh, happy to see me. I'm very happy. Yes. <laughs> very, very happy. Thank uh, you. 
Quick question. Um, are you still working as an actress or are you retired? You know what? I have ret semi-retired. I'm doing solo stuff now. I'm webcamming and I'm having a great time doing it. Nice, nice, nice. Um, is webcamming a little bit easier or is it or is it easier to be on set with a whole crew? Well, you know what? It just depends. Sometimes it's easier to be on set with the whole crew because then I have everyone's energy. And sometimes webcamming gets a little lonely. Ah. I have a lot of fun, horny fans <laughs> that love to give me all their fucking cum. Sweet, 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 sweet. Well, since you retired from being an actress, are you going to go into directing anytime soon? You know what? That may be a possibility. I don't have any plans of that as of now, but you never know. I love rubbing your dick up against my thigh. I would love to see you direct a movie or another porn, something, you know, just anything. Well, if I direct, it'd have to be really twisted and hardcore. Twisted and hardcore. All right. That's, I'm looking forward to that. Do you like that, Amari? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. You're welcome. I love your lips. Thank you. Thank you. I love your lips, too. <laughs> Thank against you. mine. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this has been a very amazing episode of the Art Heroes Project. I'm here with the lovely Ava Devine, and she's an amazing actress. Thank you. And hopefully in the future, she's going to direct some movies or porn. Twisted and nasty. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. You're welcome, Ava. Thank you for coming on the Art <laughs> Heroes Project. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Bye.